Hello and welcome to my kitchen. My name is Sherry and today is Thirsty Thursday, but tomorrow is National Tequila Day. So today we're gonna to be making a pink Paloma. But before I get started, if this is your first time here, you love food, you love fun, you love drinks, go ahead and hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell and check the description below for details on how subscribing helps to feed the hungry. Okay, so this is another drink I have never had before, but I think I will really like it because it has grapefruit juice in it and tequila. Tequila is like my favorite of all liquors. <laughs> and grapefruit juice, I used to love a salty dog. If you don't know what that is, it is grapefruit juice and is it vodka. It's been so long since I had one. I think it's vodka and then a salted rim. And if you didn't want the salted rim, it was called a Greyhound. So I used to drink that years ago. So I think I'll really, really like this. Oh, let me just mention, if I have any of my fellow YouTubers out there, especially if you do recipes, I don't know about you, but when I develop recipes, I go through a ton of notebooks. I'm always writing stuff down. And so I found these and I absolutely love them. They have, let me show you. It's called a rocket book, but you can write on it. And of course you have to get a special pen, but the special pen will write on anything else, but you just erase it with water. So it lasts, lasts like indefinitely. But the other thing I really like is I can spill stuff on here and it doesn't ruin it. So anyway, I'll put a link to this for anybody that's interested. I got them on Amazon, but I'll put a link down below for that. Okay, back to our recipe. I erased part of it. All right, we need two ounces of tequila. So I have a reposado here. There are three types of tequila, at least as far as I know. So the first one is a Blanco. They're made all the way from like mixing drinks all the way to like a tequila that you would sip on. So you have your Blanco, a Reposado, and an Anejo. So the Blanco is like a fresh tequila. And then your Reposado is aged in barrels anywhere from one to nine months, I believe. And then if it's aged over a year, it's an Anejo. So I have a Reposado here. And it calls for two ounces of tequila. So two ounces of that. It calls for one ounce of pink grapefruit juice which they did not have pink grapefruit. They had red grapefruit. I'm going to put a little extra on there. So that's what I grabbed. Pretty much the same thing, I'm guessing. Three quarters of an ounce of lime juice. Right there. And then it called for half an ounce of simple syrup and like an ounce or two of club soda. But if you ask me, simple syrup and club soda equal like Sprite or 7-Up. So I just grabbed Save myself the trouble of making the simple syrup. But if you want to make your own. You are more than welcome. So I'm just going to fill this all the way up. Toss that in there. Put my lid on. And give this a shake. Okay, and then I've got my glass here of ice. I'm not sure if that's the glass you're supposed to serve this in or not. <laughs> And the one I saw a picture of was really pink. So maybe that's because they used a pink grapefruit juice. And I just had the fresh grapefruit that was red. I'm not sure. Maybe I'll add a little food coloring <laughs> just to make my picture a little bit prettier. All right, let's give this a try. And I think maybe you can salt your glass too. I don't remember if it said that or not. I like it, but I have to know that that's what I'm going to be drinking. It's like if you think you're drinking water and all of a sudden you take a drink of something that someone else has and you think it's water, but there's actually Kool-Aid or soda. It just kind of tricks you a little bit. I just don't think that's what I was expecting it to taste like, but I do like it, even though I probably had a really weird look on my face. <laughs> yeah, I've never had tequila and grapefruit together. It's not bad. It's definitely something I would drink like if I was doing low carb also because of the grapefruit juice. Or maybe not. Maybe if I was doing low calorie because there's still sugars in that. But all in all, I don't think it's too bad. I think I'll finish the glass. I don't know that I'll make it again for a while. But anyway, it's not bad. Especially if you like tequila, give it a try. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And I thank you all so much for watching. I will see you next Thursday with another drink. Bye.